it's actually great to see so many people uh, logged into this. This is this is fantastic, and I also think it's sort of indicative of how much interest is in the space. I'm certainly seeing a lot of it here in, in DC. So. I'm the president and CEO of Citadel Resources. Uh, we're going to go over. It, it's not uh, directly rare earth elements, uh, but uh, it is found with rare earth elements and is a rare metal. Also strategic to uh, this green wave. Um, the uh, sorry, screen for a second. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, and then yeah. So the uh, picture on the front of our presentation here, that's the Mio Viaduct. Uh, this could not have been built without the use of niobium. Uh, so one of the uses for niobium is uh, it's a steel alloy that makes it stronger and lighter. Uh, Jabil has 80 million shares out with a market cap of uh, $4 million. Why niobium is important? It's going to be extremely important for electric vehicles. Uh, it, it again making things lighter and stronger so that the electric car can go farther um, on one charge. Uh, there's an application uh, for batteries in the lithium ion battery. Um, niobium is making it safer uh, and a faster charging battery. CBMM and Toshiba have a battery that they're working on, um, and I'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, within the construction industry, just like that bridge and all of these buildings that are getting built for seismic applications, they all need niobium. It allows them to use less steel for a stronger product. Uh, this slide came from uh, CBMM, and it goes over uh, some of the uh, barriers that a lithium ion battery has, and some of the great benefits that niobium brings to it. So one of the major issues with a lithium ion battery is uh, it has a tendency to uh, short circuit itself with uh, the lithium forming metal. Uh, niobium prevents this. Um, it also increases the range and uh, they have been doing tests on this battery. So after a six minute charge, you, you can get up to, uh, it's over 300 kilometers. Whereas a conventional lithium ion battery, you're in around 90 kilometers. Uh, that is one of the major problems that uh, the general consumer is complaining about against a uh, internal combustion engine. Uh, CBMM recently put out uh, a forecast for what they believe niobium oxide is uh, the increase in demand for it. Uh, so in 2021, uh, they think it's about uh, 100 tons. By uh, 2030, they're up to 45,000 tons. With niobium, I believe its price is around $45 a kilo right now. That is a tremendously huge opportunity for anyone in the niobium space. <laughs> Chris, it, it did say explode for a reason. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about the property. Uh, so the Bill's property is in a great jurisdiction. It's northern Quebec. Uh, and Congress and I are going to have a drill program this summer. Here are Seville's claims. Uh, the larger claim group are the Commerce claims which hold their Ashman deposit, which is held right in here. And these yellow claims are Seville's claims. So typically with a uh, carbonatite, you quite often will get a center uh, rare earth zone like we have here. So this green is Congress's Ashman deposit. You can see all the drill holes in here. Um, and then this outline is Seville's claims. And this orange is where the projected niobium is. So there's a number of extremely positive targets. Uh, when Alex Knox uh, was writing our 43101, um, he, he's an expert on carbonatites. He stated he has never worked on a 
uh, Niobe and Claim Group with so many excellent targets. He, he thinks we have about 20 targets that we could uh, sink a drill into, but the two main ones are Mallard, which is where we had our drill program in 2019. And with every hole we drilled, we continued to get better results and left um, it open in all directions, north, east, south, west, and at depth. Uh, Marana, just to the north, we're very excited about drilling this. Uh, so the geophysics and geochem that we've done, it has led us to believe that there is a sill running right up to this part of JLA. Uh, drilling Marana would help uh, solidify that theory, as well as, as you can see, as you can see, all these dots are uh, boulders with niobium samples in them. We're, we're, some of the highlights are between two and 6% niobium. Uh, there's one a little bit off this map that got up to 16% niobium. Now this boulder train dies off right on this mag. Uh, th this leads us to believe this is the postulated source for uh, the highest grade niobium that we're going to find on the property. It's never been drill tested. This is one of the targets that I would like to drill in the summer, as well as Mallard, because we got such good results from our last drill program. This slide is just one hole of, uh, that shows how open it is. Uh, the different colors represent different uh, grades of niobium, purple being the highest, uh, blue being the lowest. This is some gore that uh, came from our drill program. Uh, the, where, where the arrows are pointing, these little dots are pyrochlores. This is where uh, the niobium and tantalum are held. Uh, it, it can be microscopic. You can, it can also be seen by the naked eye. Seville also has a couple of kickers that come with it. Fluorospar being the main one, we've got up to 30% Floors bar in uh, our drill core. We analyzed some of the core that Commerce drilled in the past, as well as uh, some of the core that we drilled, and are very excited for the upcoming drill program in the summer, which will be shared with Commerce. 